Here's another hidden criteria men will use to choose a woman to be with. And that is, do you know how to minimize or stay away from drama? Okay. Now, this is something that may not always be, art, again, it's not always articulated by a man and said flat out. You know, men aren't usually just going to come out and say, oh, you, you, you're too much of a drama queen. I can't deal with you. Some men will, but many will just recognize it and be like, nah, I can't do it. Nah. And, and, and again, I really want to highlight the fact that none of these criterias eliminate you necessarily from him wanting to still spend time with you, sleep with you or whatever. So you got, to, you have to make sure you don't confuse that because he may still be interested in those things with you, but they could stop you from being viewed as I can actually spend my life with her. I can be more serious and committed with her. Excuse me. So drama, you know, you hear, you hear, you've heard me say, you hear people on the internet say it, how to be a man's peace, man wants peace. Peace is something that men value very much. And what are, what are one of the things that rob men of peace? Drama, especially unnecessary drama. Now, we're not talking about the guy who's creating the drama, all right? We're not talking about the one who's giving you drama and then you're reacting to his drama and then he wants to call you being overly dramatic. No, 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 no. We're talking about the guy who especially, especially when he is that more laid back, he doesn't get into all that mess. Like that guy has a much lower tolerance for drama. Because you see, if, if a man is very unhealthy from within or into getting into drama himself, because there are men like that, he may, not, he may not eliminate you from contention, so to speak, because that's the world he lives in. And if you do drama too, well, he doesn't even recognize that as an unhealthy issue. But the guys who are not like that, whether they have other issues or not, if they're not about that drama, it's going to be a problem. And so when we talk about learning or understanding how to avoid or minimize drama, you, you really got to ask yourself, one, am I engaging myself or, or pushing myself into situations that I don't need to be bothered with in the first place? Because a lot of drama could be eliminated if we just left the situation alone. All right. Too many people interject themselves. And it's like that there's this quote that says, you know, you, you don't have to attend every argument you're invited to. Like, yo, you got to learn how to recognize this just is not worth it. OK, I just want to give you a perfect example. Me being in the position that I am on social media and I've been doing this. I mean, I've been doing this for like 15 or more years now. It's crazy. But anyways, um, I've learned over the years because I used to have more time to be in the comments, right? Or I was the one actually responding to comments all the time. Now it's like a mixture. Anyways, so back then you'd have these people who want to challenge you and things like that. And there's this natural inclination in, in many of us to want to rebut or to face that challenge. And you start finding yourself in this back and forth. And I learned how to recognize People who are not looking to have an intelligent, logical uh, discussion, who are not looking to learn or debate respectfully, they are looking to just vent. They are looking to argue. They're looking to start something, okay? And when you understand who that person is, you recognize or understand that there's nothing you can say that's going to make them be like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, you got a good point there. All right, fine. No, they will keep going. <laughs> they, you, you respond to, they're going to respond to that one. And it's gonna, you're going to be there forever. And before you know it, and, and here's the thing about interjecting yourself into too much drama unnecessarily. Even if you're not making this man be directly a part of the drama. So you're not saying, hey, baby, come jump in these comments with me or jump on this phone and have this argument with me. What you are making him deal with is the negative energy that you take in from dealing with that drama. So you go over there, you have that unnecessary argument, unnecessary back and forth that was going to lead to nowhere. Let's say it's on the phone. You get off the phone and whether you realize it or not, your attitude is 
bad mouth. You're in a funky mood. You're not happy. You're irritable. And he has to deal with that. And, and it's like he didn't do anything to cause it. So that makes it even more frustrating. And it's like, yo, if you would just learn to stay away from those things and protect your peace, you would then be able to create more peace within yourself which then allows you to create more peace within your relationship, within your household, within any enver environment you walk into, all right? So it's important that you recognize the unnecessary things you need to just leave alone. And, and if anything, if you find yourself, because sometimes we don't go looking for drama, drama finds us, okay? It's life. But you got to learn how to properly decompress you got to learn how to not let it get out of control and push you into a frantic or extremely negative place. And then again, go emotionally dump on your partner. And it's one thing if it happens every blue moon. A man who likes you, who sees potential in you, isn't going to be like, oh, this one time she, she got caught in some nonsense. I'm not dealing with her anymore. That's typically not going to be the case unless he, he has some other problems going on. But when it's reoccurring, when it's constant, that, that has to be taken care of. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. Relationships are the key to a successful life. But there's five areas that we have to be mindful of when it comes to relationships. There's relationship with God, relationship with ourselves, relationship with family and friends.